Porsche approves a new model to rival the Ferrari 458. Chrysler slash Dodge is rocking some blacked out versions of their models. A turbo kit for Toyota's FT86. And some hooligans in Amsterdam are stealing Porsche headlights for weed. Plus train meet sewage truck. What's up everybody? My name is Derek D and this is Fast Lane Daily. Or is it? No, it isn't. Looks like Porsche has confirmed a new model is heading to production and it may wear the mark of the 961. The new mid-engine sports car will directly match up against Ferrari's 458 and will slot between the GT2 RS and the 918 Spyder in terms of price and performance. It won't be your everyman kind of Porsche though because we're looking at about $400,000. For all that green, owners will get the coolest tech from the 918 like the carbon fiber unibody frame and potentially the same 4.6 liter V8. Release date, who knows? It's expensive. You gonna buy it, Max? What? No, he's not. No one is here. It's very expensive. Oh, side note, if you would like information on fuel additives, please consult Jessie Lang from Motor Trend's Wide Open Throttle because her, quote, understanding of additives came from her grandfather who taught her the importance of additives. And as we all know, the best fuel you can get for your car is Conoco or Phillips 66, right? If you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out the article at jalopnik.com. It's pretty awesome. Remember when I said Subaru is preparing a turbo version of their BRC, Max? Vaguely. Vaguely. Well, I'm going to, well, I did say that. Now it looks like Toyota wants in, but it may come through via their aftermarket tuner, TRD. Toyota Racing Development, or as I like to call them, TURD. They may offer a supercharger kit for the GT86 slash Scion FRS. This probably means normal BRZ owners could throw the same system into their cars. Don't know the specs on the power boost, but we can probably expect a significant increase when we're talking about a supercharger. By the way, did I mention I'm sponsored by Frank's Easy Gas with additives? Yeah, they called me yesterday. Frank's Gas not only has the best additives, but also the best subtractives around. Why? Because Frank's grandfather told him about the importance of additives and subtractives in gas when he was adding and subtracting as a kid. Duh. Frank's easy gas. Get yours today. Hey, blacked out is still what all the cool kids want because Chrysler Dodge seems to think so. The Avenger, Charger, and Challenger will all get the black top treatment which means a blacked out grille, rear spoiler, and 18 or 20 inch aluminum wheels in gloss black finish. For the Charger, steering wheel mounted paddle shifters and some other goodies like beat speakers are tossed in. Finally, for the Challenger, you get all that plus the Super Track Pack, which includes monotube shock absorbers, upgraded brake lines, and Goodyear Eagle F1 supercar tires. I tell you though, that's a decent amount of stuff for under two grand. Not bad, whether you like it or not, it's purely your preference. Strange things happen in Amsterdam. Also a lot of fun things. All right. And Porsche Panamera and Cayenne drivers seem to be the victims. In just the past week, 20 Porsche vehicles have mysteriously lost their headlights overnight from people like this guy in this video. Why, you ask? Well, apparently people are stealing them to use the xenon lights to grow marijuana. The strong light and ample heat are apparently perfect for growing that Mary Jane, that bud, that kush, that purple haze, that swanky swank, that huckleberry bush. Is that anything? I kind of just went on a tangent there at the end. I don't even know if that means anything. If there's not, it should be called that. Anyway, I guess purchasing the Xenon lights off Amazon or something just uh, was too crazy because they could do that quite simply. Oh, and uh, here's a sewer truck getting hit by a train sending a brown mist of feces all over the place. The guy shooting the video fittingly says, Holy crap. Yes, literally. Holy crap. Everywhere. Driver was okay. Train was too. Anyway, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Again, please donate, if you can, to the Hurricane Sandy relief efforts. Every little bit helps. Just go to redcross.org or text REDCROSS to 90999 to make a $10 donation. Okay, you can also go to 732.com and purchase a shirt, 100% of those proceeds go to the relief. All right, that's the uh, word seven, the number three, the word two, dot com. Okay, also we're on Twitter, Facebook, 
YouTube, iTunes, Fastlane Daily is on Instagram. Also, we have t-shirts. And that's how we do it. I will talk to you guys later. And uh, be safe. Hopefully that Nor'Eastern stays the f*** away from New York and New Jersey. Turbo kit for Toyota. <laughs> Unique New York. The Avenger, Charger, and Challenger. <laughs> Challenger. Oh, and here's a sewer truck getting hit by a train sending brown mist. <clears throat> what is. Uh, f hey, blacked out is what all the cool kids want. Wait, what am I saying? Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.